News since 6 o'clock. We have learned that a teenager has died and another was seriously hurt, all in a shooting just steps away from a high school. Both victims are students, we're told. Police are still searching as we speak for the people responsible for this tonight, so there's an ongoing search. School day, we know, had just ended at Pasco High School when police responded to the shooting. It was at a nearby Whataburger. Aaron Jones there tonight to pick up the story from there. Tonight we heard from Chief Neil Noakes who is calling this another act of senseless violence that never should have happened. He says all this started as a verbal altercation which turned physical, ultimately leading to a shooting. Now a 16-year-old boy is dead and a 17-year-old girl is in critical condition. A suspect has not been identified. However, it appears that everyone knew each other and this was an isolated incident. There's no threat to the public. The shooting was just across the street from Pasco High School but occurred after dismissal. However, the school was immediately placed on lockdown for the remaining students and staff. Fort Worth ISD says the victims are students at the district. There is no reason for a student in high school to be carrying a gun and shooting at another student. But that anger quickly turned to sadness. We're seeing this across the country with violent crime. Unfortunately, we're seeing it right here at home in Fort Worth, Texas, and I take that personally. And so now police are asking anyone with information or possibly video to give them a call. The numbers are listed on your screen. In Fort Worth, Aaron Jones, CBS 11 News.